In this video, we are going to discuss about the five basic skills that every tester should have. All right, especially for the beginners or the freshers who are into jumping into say software testing or probably have started already started had their career in software testing. All right, so let's see what are these five important skills. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, guys. So first of all, the first important skill is ability to communicate and i'm going to give you a few of the point okay so bug reporting problem all right so uh i have uh nearly around eight nine years of experience around that and this is actually very important uh skill that every tester should have which is ability to communicate effectively what do you mean by this promote i'm not able to understand communication properly what so it basically means that uh, sometimes whenever you raise a bug, right? If you are a QA fresher, or even if you have one or two years experience, right? Whenever you raise a bug, if you're not able to communicate properly, if you're not able to explain properly, then what will happen? They'll, dev will say, dev basically means developer, will say that it's they are not able to understand. They are not able to reproduce, to see this bug. So that's why they will reject your bug, right? And that will create a bad impression, right? So to avoid these kind of issue, you have to have a communi better communication, okay? And how you can achieve that, we're gonna discuss in fourth point, but this is actually very important to improve your communication, okay? Conversation and English are different. Communication, communication is basically whenever other person can understand properly, right? So that's what is important. Email problem essential. So this is another important point. So when I have started my career, right? Uh, I was in Accenture, right? So, uh, so the problem was, uh, I was not able to write proper emails, right? Uh, so suppose I have to give some updates about testing progress. I have to submit bug report or I have to email the report, right? I was not able to write it properly. So I took some help definitely from other people, but I would suggest all the people who are starting out, especially fresher that make sure you, uh, know how to write the emails and you know, the email etiquettes, right? How to write it properly and in every. Right. So of course you can, uh, whenever I want to ask something or I want to tell something in a group in Slack prop, right. Even in Microsoft team, uh, I was not able to communicate properly. I mean, I wanted to say something that it is broken, but sometimes they understood something else is broken. Right. So that was a communication gap. So that's why I highly recommend you guys to make sure you, uh, improve your communication right uh, you can improve your other things by using some apps like camly or other things right so definitely pay attention to this so this is important skill okay uh, second point is proper documentation and of course uh, for example like this right so this is a jira that i am uh, talking about make sure uh, whenever uh, you are submitting a bug report or any kind of a documentation right make sure you do it properly you add your steps description results so this is actually a part of communication. You are explaining everything with every documents, with every stats and every proof that you have, right? So make sure uh, you do proper documentation. So proper documentation also include, in, include your testing reports and uh, other documents. So which are these documents, which is again the third skill are the four import, uh, three important. Uh, the fourth, there's another one, which is fourth RTM. Okay. So four important documentation that uh, document and these, this is actually skill, right? These uh, to create these documents, you have, it is actually a skill. So this is actually a skill that you create a proper documentation. So third point is basically about the test document, especially, uh, you need to know, you have to know how to create your test plan. I have discussed this in the testing Academy channel. Make sure you go to the YouTube, uh, and search for testing Academy, similar channel, same channel. Just search for the test plan and download the template, how to uh, create a test plan and is it mandatory and how to write it properly. Okay. Test cases, bug report and RTM, which is requirement traceability matrix. So all these four concepts are already covered in the videos. Make sure you check it out because this is actually very basic skill that you should have as a fresher also. Okay. So I'm talking about this, especially fourth point is basically, uh, in scope, out scope and testing process. You should know these things. Okay. Okay, promote, like, if, please explain what is this. Uh, I mean, what to test, which type of testing you should do, is automation required, what is your test data, how to handle a handoff meeting. So all these points are basically, uh, you have to 
learn about them make sure you watch videos and basically you can discuss this with the seniors also this is actually very important skill to have what kind of testing you will be doing it so this will be helpful in your test planning automation required or not you can get the information so this is actually a skill how to manage your test data how to handle uh, your hand of meetings right uh, the testing process i'm talking about okay so how to handle the overall testing process is actually a skill that you need to acquire uh, as a, even as a fresher right so that was it and the la uh, the fourth uh, the fa of course the last point which is fifth one which is uh, testing sign off meetings so after you are done with your testing uh, how to give sign offs to the developer as well as to stakeholders this is actually a skill that you need to acquire or uh, report submission reporting your blo blockers at a proper time so sometimes people don't report at a proper time so that's why stakeholders are little mess messed up their dates are messed up due to that okay so uh, actually if you see these are kind of a skills or kind of the things that you should know as a fresher or uh, actually these are mandatory things or basic skills so that uh, you should have those things so that you can become a better software tester right so i hope that makes sense to make sense and these are uh, i think the five basic skills that every software tester should have especially as a qa fresher if you are someone do give it a try do watch the videos for the concepts that i have discussed right and make sure you pay attention to your communication which is very very important for a software tester all right thanks a lot for watching this till now uh, this is your host pramod uh, make sure you check out the other videos if you get any if you got any any kind of a value from this video do give it a like and subscribe uh, thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye bye